Hello, welcome back to the Dark Mod, the Builder's Influence. We are on to. Well, we're in part two, and I'm now on my way to get to the mayor's office, I think, because we have the key. Which is. Um, I'm actually not sure which way. We also picked up another key. Oh right, the um, the key. T right, the key to the um. Was it in here? I think no. What 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 what? No, it's not here. The room through the uh, library. It's not really called libraries. It's where they keep the records. That's where I need to go also. And again, I'm doing the thing where I'm whispering while I'm sneaking around, which I don't need to do. Oh, we need to go up one more. That's right. Oh, we're pretty visible actually here. That was very lucky. Let's see, I need to go in there, the archives. Will we be okay? I think so. Oh. Of course they have to open this way. Is that guy coming in here? No. Um, archive cabinet. There we go. Sewer construction. Let's have a read. Uh, we're still not com in complete darkness. Yeah, but as a this is this might be because the um, the default AI for vision isn't as high as for hearing, and I kind of left the AI as is. Didn't feel like messing with it too much. Let's have a look at. No, we cannot use it. Let's look at our objectives. Check the archives for the for old maps of the sewer and take one for future reference. Okay. Well, and now we need to head to the major mayor's office, which I think is on the other end. Um, no, probably this way. Yeah, the, the guards don't mind us leaving open doors. I think that we're already pretty close to the mayor's office. Oh 
we just going to stand there? Yeah, no, okay. Let's see. Well, we should be safe in here. Worthless plates. Uh, that is worth something. No, that isn't. So I'm hoping there might be a key here to Gerard's office. Because if not, then we need to pick the lock to his office, which is pretty uh, bad. No? There it goes. Uh, let's see, how long is this? Pretty long. All right. January 12th, since the Imperial troops were all recalled last fall, the Tuish Tutin? Tutin? Teuton tribe? Teton tribe? Teuton? Teuton tribe? Tribes <laughs> north of the city have gotten bolder. No longer content to raid merchants and travelers, the barbarians have been massing an, ar an army, overwhelming every village over the winter. Reports are that they are moving further south and that they intend to threaten Breton itself. The city militia is no match for a barbarian horde and my letters to the imperial court have gone unanswered. January 23rd. I have received a reply for my letter, but from an unexpected source, Cardinal Laurenti of the Inquisition has made an unusual request. He has a desire to set up the court of, in of the Inquisition in Braden, and informs me that he could send an entire cohort of the Knights of the Hammer to aid in our defense, with report of barbarian troops camped only a few miles away from the wall. It is a welcome, most welcome offer. February, February 3rd, the Builder Cohort arrived yesterday along with the Inquis Inquisitori and their personal guards and assistants. Such a commotion. Already the Builder, builder Guards have started to work with the local militia and watchmen. There are more grumbles, but I think people feel a sense of relief that we have help. February 25th. Since the builders started manning the walls, we have not received a single report of an ad advance by the barbarians. In fact, the barbarians' camps to the north appear to have been abandoned. Lord's builder be praised. March 4th. The first burning occurred today. Three women and two men uh, from Kilney's ward, apparently with ties to the barbarians. They were charged with consorting with evil spirits. In truth, I think one was but a simple fortune teller. Cardinal Rolenti. Uh, however, has great experience in these matters and believes that the barbarians and their pagan spirits may try to win through subversion what they could not by force. March 12th, Cardinal Laurenti uh, has been sp has been spending a great deal of time here speaking to the old alderman, especially alderman de Chaise, about theological matters. He has made comments about some of the statues on display, claiming they are of a pagan origin. He re recommends replacing them with the builder's hammer. March 19th, the cardinal is pressuring me to give him access to the tax records of the ward so he can decide where to focus his efforts. Those wards with a record of not paying their, ti their titles tithes, in full will receive uh, greater attention from the Inquisition. April 2nd, Builder guards have started patrolling the hallway of the civic buildings. The inquisitors have begun questioning the clerks here, asking about the actions of various councillors. 
They claim the councillors were named by witnesses as having participated in occult meetings. But I feel that something else may be going on. At the councillors being... All the councillors being questioned are known to oppose Puritan doctrine. April 18th. Uh, I never believed the Inquisition would dare arrest councillors. Leopold has been charged with heresy and thrown into prison. His wealthy family will not stand for it, but this is going too far. Cardinal Laurenti, this is May 15th, is using the Inquisition to root out councillors and aldermen who are opposed to his Puritan agenda and replace them with those who would grant the church absolute power over civic matters. I was a fool to have given him so much power. I'm writing to Cardinal Nicholas in Bridgeport. He is known to oppose Puritan philosophy and has enough influence to deal with the Inquisition, but it may be too late. I fear for my own safety now. Cardinal Laurenti knows that I oppose what he is doing. June 3rd, I have taken any records that might be used against councillors uh, and lock them in my private records room. I've been careful with the key to my office, but even if they manage to get in here, the key to the records room is well hidden. It's unlikely to find it. All right, so we have to go looking for a key. Um, there we go. So he has hidden a key somewhere. Um. Let's have a look around. No. Hmm. Can I take this book out in particular? Can I take more? Oh, I can take all of them. No. No. Anything in there? No, they might hear me. Oh, I think I saw something. There we go. Found it. Uh, yeah, he was just studying very hard, so the books are out. Uh, turn this off. Turn that off. So private, private records room key. Which we have a map. I don't know if it shows. Archives, Gerard's office. Um, well, no, we'll just have to have a look around. Uh, yeah. where we entered I'm pretty sure I don't think there are any locked doors um, maybe it's the room next to Gerard's office although I think I saw I think I saw a door somewhere that might have said private archives above it but I'm not really sure where it is No, this is the regular archives room. Um, I think I'm at the wrong end. Okay. So yeah, we're. I 
think I'm still so we're on I think the difficulties go normal hard expert and we're on the middle one might, it might be that one so we're not we can knock people out but I still haven't so we're still on track for doing the expert uh, objective even though it doesn't matter there we go and of course there's already someone in here so maybe <laughs> we have to knock him out Pretty visible here. Yep. Um, what should we do? Maybe I should just knock him out. Or blow out all the candles, but he, he'll get suspicious. You know what, since we can, he's, he's in his room by himself. I think he has anything on him. Eh, there we go, some extra loot. Question is though, is there anything for us to get here? There should be, shouldn't there? that some privacy in here hmm that's odd maybe None of these open up, do they? Maybe we were, we were supposed to go here after Gerard's office? It seems odd that they would... Hmm. Make us go th through all that to get the key and then not have anything of note. The ambience track uh, suddenly, well not very suddenly, it just stopped and it bega began again. This does not make much sense, does it? You don't have anything on you, do you? No. There we go. George tax records. Aha, uh -huh. so they weren't actually in his office. We need more money. 
quite a bit. Where can we still go? I think he's good over there. It's pretty much out of sight, I believe. There are parts of the basement that I haven't been, so maybe we need to go back to where we started. or go into his office but I yeah we're too exposed in here let's just try if this is an option we'll get noticed but Yeah, that's no use. Managed. Um, well, it doesn't matter. We cannot light it anyway. Let's see. Yeah, there's probably a note telling us, hinting that we need to go to the mayor's office. Question is, do you have anything of value in here? Doesn't really look like it. Nothing in your armoire? Well, this isn't an armoire, I believe, just a desk, but anyway. Enough is enough. I welcome to you and the courts of the Inquisition. But this has gone too far. Arresting councillors and aldermen uh, on the word of disgruntled Scythians of their wards Cit citizens disgruntled citizens of their wards Gerard may be a fool but uh, and even a crook but I'll not let you use this tax records against him in charges of heresy search all you want from now on all important documents will be kept in my personal care Thomas Shaw mayor of Breden yeah so we got that already can I move far enough away to have it yeah. Well, that did not do as much good. But Open up, open up, open up. I think we're okay. Well, this place has not been ransacked, so maybe there's something of value in here.
There we go. Jewels. Councillor Kilney. His Eminence is grateful for thy timely reports of the actions of thy fellow councillors. With so much heresy and corruption within the walls, it's heartening to see a pious soul such as thyself. Thou shalt make an excellent witness against him. There shalt be great need of men like thyself when this work is done. Until then, please accept this as a reward for thy fidelity and service. Sincerely, Father Grandier, Judge of the Inquisition. Judge and Inquisitor. Aha, so that's where he got the jewels. Now we have them. Um, okay. Lucky for us, he couldn't see that far. Oh, he, he did see us actually. Oh, it's getting really crowded. Yeah, I should probably head downstairs. Maybe there's some. Uh, yes, yes. yes. Very well, carry on. Can we? kind of wondering and you probably could but I was just kind of wondering if, if it was actually it w if it would be possible to pass by someone that is so close to you and still not notice them but uh, yeah there are probably I don't know special operatives that can do that stuff We might not have been in that room, but I'm not sure. Oh yeah, he did. I think he did see us, sort of. Nope, we have not been here. Yeah. Let's see, do you have anything in here that I want? I might have to knock you out. There we go. Another one. Yeah, 
Yeah, this is uh, probably where uh, there was a guy with a torch. I noticed walking in the basement. We probably that is where we are right now. All right. We're almost there. Sadly. Hmm. We just need one more. Uh, let's. Corbin has a very specific taste when it comes to wine. Might not be anything of value down here, but should probably still check. Damn it. been here already. I think we cleared this place out, didn't we? Yeah. records yeah let's have a party have we been there Could have left it open, wouldn't have mind. No, this doesn't look that familiar. Okay. 
Well, we might get some value in here. No treasure under the hat. No, there is not. Um, da -da -da. Oh yeah, this is marble floors. Report of Inquis Inquisitor Bothwell on Wednesday, 28th of June. Mariah Renate was examined without torture on charges of heresy and witchcraft. Yeah. Should damn it. Are those glasses worth anything? No. Well, let's see if we can do this again. We managed. to come in and you're out again all right um so we need to head out oh there's Yeah, that's worth quite a bit. The exposed in here. Bit 
better save here. I was in the uh, in the light the other time. Let's see. Okay. Um, yeah. Now I just need to find my way out. I'm probably gonna head out the way I came in. That seemed like a pretty safe way to come and go. This was it. Yeah. Oh. Ah. I didn't mean to do that, but let's use a. Um, there we go. Oh, it heals over time. Oh, 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 it's still going. Okay. I should have checked the clock actually, if it was still keeping time. Because I noticed, I think we came in r after 12, and then it was uh, half past one last time I checked. The ambience cut out again, and it's back. He might see us. No, we're okay. Right, that's the thing with actually having to um, Well, this should be okay. So we need to get past him again. And last time we just went over. Okay. We made it. Right, medium. So was there an easy, medium or hard or did we... Did, did I just pick the easiest one? It might might have been, I don't know. <laughs> Damage dealt 40, received 34, yeah because we fell. Alpha store 24, pockets picked. Uh, so there is actually 4,500 gold in here. Killed by the player, KO'd by the player, body found by the AI. Yeah. Almost completely uh, uh, no knockouts or anything, but I, I could have. Yeah. Could have gone without knocking him out, but oh well. Three searches. 50 suspicious. Yeah. You're gonna rack those up pretty, pretty easily. Because uh, even if they just, you, know, you can tell, number one. So we got 47 of those AI mumbles continuing on. So yeah, they, they really, uh, it's nothing really, but they do count as a, uh, it's the lowest kind of alert. Huh. Well, and we're done. So yeah, um, it's uh, well. Th there was still a bit of um, world building going on with with all the um, notes and diaries that we read. But the thing is, there is it's a bit of a shame that there's that there are no more um, cutscenes and voiceovers anymore. 
like there were like there was in in the missions that came with the mod so i think that is kind of done so i'm not really sure if there's much point to continuing on with with the story of corbin because i don't know i don't think it really is much of a a narrative and also um the other missions um do I still have my list? I think I do. This is a builder's influence and the next one should be a score to settle. But as you can see, this one actually warns that it's not uh, recommended for new players. So it might be pretty, uh, pretty tough. Oh, they actually... So this one does change the difficulty um, um, if you change the difficulty it actually changes the gameplay difficulty rather than just giving you more stuff to do so that's a f uh, they're kind of straying from the unique difficulty setting from Thief 1 and 2 let's see casual, fewer AI and lights choose this for a more relaxed gameplay and better FPS better FPS well I guess Challenging the default level with modest equipment, AI will relight lights. More larger lights, much, much less equipment, AI will often relight lights and have sharper hearing. This was my first map and it was a big learning experience. This map introduced lots of new assets to the core mod, including a dozen animations, models and textures. Spike dune, custom dialogue. So this one does come with some dialogue, I guess. Map assets, okay. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm not really sure if I should be con continuing on my, um, the story of Corbin. I don't know if it, if there's much sense to it. Uh, maybe if, if I get the, uh, maybe if I just feel like playing some more the dark mod it's good it's probably a good place to carry on but yeah um yeah so that's uh, the builder's influence done and uh with that i am uh, signing off so thank you for watching see you around bye